excellent secondary. Good cover corners. Killam's kickoff and running up to field it at the six yard line is Iowa. And it's Caleb Johnson over the 25 and down he goes. We haven't seen Reganey coming into the game on the first snap, but we see movement across the line. Well, that's something that Iowa does not do with only three penalties per game for 20 yards per game. Some of the best numbers in the country. On second and 14, and Petrus looks flushed for the pocket. Petrus will run, and he's drilled out of bounds. Third and 12. Sitting in the zone. And here comes pressure from Elijah Winston, and a pass is caught. Petrus throws the ball, and it's Arlen Bruce. And boy, it was perfect throw. Drew Watts diving for the ball, almost deflected it, but was unable to do so. And the pass found Arlen Bruce. Laporta and tight end in motion. And inside, James Hansen wraps up Gavin William. It's third down and seven for Iowa. Petrus completed a long pass to Arlen Bruce on third down a moment ago, but he's got nowhere to go under pressure from Drew Watts. And Mike Bethay, the defensive coordinator that you mentioned a moment ago, Matt, he and Nevada's defense engineer a stand on their first time on the field in tonight's game. And second in the nation in punting, Torrey Taylor at 49 yards a kick. Got all of that one. Who's an excellent linebacker. Nobody even talks about him. But Lucas Van Ness, we mentioned him earlier. Yeah, that's a legit player. Interesting that they start the different quarterback than what we watched on television, on what we watched on the film this past week. Yeah, Shane Illingworth, who started the first two games at quarterback, will start tonight. It was Nate Cox who started the last game against Incarnate Word, the tallest quarterback. And Illingworth in the gun on third down and two. And a quick throw comes out, and Cooper DeGene not far away from a pick six. Just a great athlete. Defensive coordinator Phil Parker told us yesterday that Cooper DeGene could play four different positions. Corner, free safety, strong safety, and the cash position on Iowa's defense. Arlen Bruce is going to watch that punt bounce. The second series of the game for Iowa's offense. And Petrus, Regini's in the game with a quick slant, goes to Sam Laporta. Got to look at Brian Ferentz, the offensive coordinator. And here is Petrus handing the ball off and driving and legs churning and the pile pushed forward a little bit. Quick rollout and throw. And a good time on target throw. Gavin Williams. Oh, hit, yes. hit hard. But a punishing hit delivered to Gavin Williams, which will leave Iowa in a third and short. Ball comes out quickly and incomplete. Keegan Johnson, the intended receiver. When we talked to head coach Ken Wilson of Nevada earlier this week, he talked about some of the ups and downs for the team this year. The biggest plus he pointed out was the play of their secondary. And the special teams for Iowa always very, very good against South Dakota State. And two block punts last week for Lucas Van Ness. And from the three-yard line, this is bad news. Devontae Lee back to the two. To a tower, and the end zone takes the handoff. Ran out of a tackle by Seth Benson. The tackle is made, an excellent tackle that he had all of last year for Nevada when he had 14. But that left him short of the first down, and Matt Frame is punting from his end zone, and it's fielded, no fair catch, and Arlen Bruce is still on his feet. He ran out of two tackles, and a big block. Gavin Williams, a running back, picks up a blitz, and Petrus is throwing the home run ball and going for the over-the-shoulder catch. It's incomplete. He's a transfer from Wake Forest in his second year now playing for the Wolfpack. Yeah, they're just challenging. They're just walking right up on him saying, go ahead, beat me if you can. And they have it. And Caleb Johnson is running and makes a player miss and into the defensive backfield and bounces off a tackle and sprints for the sideline and sprints for the goal line, but he's in. Touchdown. Looked like he might have stepped out, but he stayed in. Now, Aaron Blom has been the kicker so far this year, but Drew Stevens, remember Blom missed a field goal that would have sent it to overtime last week. And then get his six. He's got to look at Kirk Ferentz, his 291st game as head coach of the Hawkeyes tonight. Devontae Lee running the football. He told us they can play with tempo or at least give the appearance of doing so to stress the defense. They ended up waiting a while before the snap, and the defense is set. And both running backs who are featured for Nevada are in the game as Toa Tower. 
Tawa, 3,332 rushing yards in his Nevada career. Frank Hawkins ran for over 5,300 yards to be Nevada's all-time leading rusher. Number two is Vite Tawa, the older brother of Toa Tawa, who's the running backs coach. Illingworth under pressure and throws the ball away. And they're going to say this is an interception along the sideline for Iowa. And Iowa's best in the nation turnover market, margin, that is, will drop from plus nine to plus eight. Arnie Potterbaum is the fullback. Petrus drops back, markers down, deep ball, contested catch, incomplete, flag down there. Looks like Keegan Johnson's walking. There are two fouls on the play, there. one against each team. Holding, offense, number 67, pass interference, defense, number two. Those fouls offset, we play, second down. Here's the pass interference on Asissima. Yeah, well... Caleb Johnson is in the game. He had a 40-yard sprint for touchdown a moment ago, and here is a laser pass and a flag down. Nico Regani was the intended receiver on Petrus's pass. Oh. Pass interference. Defense, number 20. Spot foul. Ball be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Yeah. And it gives them experience in a very young room, the wide receiver room. One-on-one -on -one up top. They'll run it. Caleb Johnson, third in Nevada history, Peterson is in quarterback sacks and tackles for loss. Johnson, they've moved 20 yards so far on the drive. Arlen Bruce in motion, and a good block, and then Petras throws it to the motion man. Arlen Bruce diving in the end zone, touchdown Iowa. Pretty ball, better catch, Hawkeyes extend the lead. Point, Drew Stevens. Good throwing lane for Spencer Peters because Gavin Williams had the cut block on Thomas Whitty, the defensive lineman. Yeah, they picked up the stunt really well. They dropped the coverage, but it was really well, really well conceived. Well, it has really helped Iowa. The field position game is so important, and they've had a short field to work with. Their punter really aided them in terms of setting up the first short field. And then the Cooper DeGene interception, of course, poised them for the second. 14-0, Iowa over Nevada after a quarter play. Second and five from the 30-yard line for Nevada. Shane Illingworth started tonight at quarterback and bounces in a throw that was intended for B.J. Castile. Iowa has always been well coached. They, they always do the little things wrong. Well. They take time to get there, but they get there. And getting there this time is Lucas Van Ness. I talked to him yesterday, and I said, you're still growing. And he goes, yeah, I, I didn't get in the armpit here until I was a freshman <laughs> last year. I can vouch he really didn't say that. <laughs> it's like, what kind of kid says that? Here's a punt by Frame. A big roll here. Well, the story on the two touchdown drives was really good field position for Iowa. This year, Matt Freem for Nevada's had a 70-yard punt. That one was 66, and that's why the Hawkeyes are at the six, but they're trying to get out of trouble quickly with a long throw down the right sideline. <laughs> Safeties are two. They had a blown coverage on the last Iowa touchdown. But the strength of the team for Nevada is their secondary. Uh, and the strength of Iowa at that moment from Council Bluffs, Iowa, making his third start. And big shoes to fill, of course, from Tyler Lunderbaum. Another big hole and a hard hit. Gavin Williams was the number two man last year behind Tyler Goodson. And it's really helped Iowa's offense, as you see, to have him. Game like this with this offensive line right now coming off the ball pretty darn well. By virtue of being able to run it, they move from the six to the 35. Petrus, Petrus, that is, did well to elude pressure. When you're learning new things, the reality is that difficult moments will be part of that. But the difficult moments, uh, for the most part, have not manifested themselves tonight. As the Hawkeye offense has moved crisply to score twice. And this drive has already covered almost 40 yards. And they're looking for way more than 40 yards on one play. And they'll look to move the chains on a third down. They've converted half their third downs tonight. Petrus under pressure. But he finds a wide open receiver on the wheel route, Gavin Williams. And Williams makes a man miss. Tyson Williams is the player who missed in space. And that's 32 yards.
on the wheel route to Gavin Williams. Now, Caleb Johnson, who has a rushing touchdown tonight at 40 yards, sprints for the sideline. Just Import a matter of time of gelling. Important to note, Matt, the offensive line collectively, the five offensive linemen, only 42 total starts. He's moved in motion across the formation. And this is third down, and Petrus is throwing it in Regani's direction and tries to drop it in the bucket. Nice job by Petrus. And so from North Augusta, South Carolina, and putting up big numbers again tonight. Nevada looking for something positive to happen. Iowa's offense already has 178 yards. They average 158 a game. So they looked, they put him in over 200 for his career at Iowa. He led FBS last year with 143 tackles. Illingworth hit as he throws, and he stayed in, took the hit, and completed the pass to... Wolfpack ball at their own 41. They walked up on these guys. They're dropping their safety. It looks like it's in man coverage here. To the right side, Toatawa lowers his head. Man, what a collision. Yeah. Long pass by Illingworth on the back shoulder fade. Third down and eight for the Wolfpack. Jamal Bell was in motion. Joe Evans times a snap count perfectly. Well, the drive noted by some of the pressure that Iowa applied on Shane Illingworth. He stayed down on a third down previously and converted. Took a big hit to convert, but that time the pressure forced a quick pass. Matt Frame looking for another big boot. He had a 66-yard punt earlier. This is Bruce with a lot of space to run. He fielded it at the 10 and off to the right. And we'll show you the excellent return that Arlen Bruce had that went for 25 yards after Gavin Williams runs the ball on first. Always such an important component of the success that Iowa has. Reggie Bracey, the player who had that block, he picked up the block punt, the first block, block punt of the game last week. There's a roll and throw by Petrus. Both plays have gone for four yards so far. And on third and two, Williams, this is another four-yard run, which is what they needed, and a little more. Williams has 11 carries in the game. Caleb Johnson has four, and he's in the game right now. We have not seen LaShawn Williams tonight, who is the feature back in the first two games. An underneath throw to the offensive line's playing well. Petrus can run this machine. Make a handoff, make an end around, and a deep ball by Petrus. And Petrus with an incomplete pass to keep him in the fight long enough to land a couple of punches. And if we can do that, then he can build on it. And he's landed some punches tonight. And here is a bullet throw on the tunnel screen coming inside his arm for his first down. Another third down conversion. Iowa's had. He wanted to get that one joke right. Petrus, another deep ball. No, this time he'll go down. And Naki Matiel. You know, even with the youth and inexperience of the offensive line, they've only allowed four sacks now this year. With that one, that was a loss of seven. And a dump off and another loss. The pass completes to midfield. And this drive has come unglued here with two straight negative plays. And Monte Alona made a critical a Taylor punt. He's had a touchback, and he's pinned him at the three-yard line tonight on his two previous punts. Another one. And this one will be down at the two on Big Ten Network. Crowd's going to get a lot louder here with Nevada in the shadow of their own goalpost. And I think this will be forward. Second and 11 for the one. And this is a keeper for Illingworth and a big hit by Joe Evans. But breathing room for Nevada up to the full at the five-yard line. On third down. Running play, and Devontae Lee, and Lee stays on his feet. Boy, he is like a bowling ball off pins. Terry Rock touchdowns in their collegiate careers for the Wolfpack. That was just a first down to avoid having to punt for their own end zone. Now nowhere to go. John Wagner, up. 245 pounds, just a good football player. From Ames, 14 in career sacks. Part of a tackle for loss. And nowhere to go here on a short second down run. Nevada has not been shut out in the first half this year, but 
That is what presumably is about to happen. Toa Tau. Down he goes. Marlon Bruce has had a 25-yard return time. Might be able to get him in field goal range if he does something special. Average punt, but it'll be covered. Yeah, the roll. The roll will prevent Arlen Bruce from hitting anywhere near it. Just a lot of new players. New players. And you know what? Well, like I mentioned earlier, this Iowa team, they're still there. In Even as well, kickoff for the Iowa Hawkeyes. The turn bobbled. Bell turns and picks the ball up. And squeezes through a couple of holes. And all of a sudden, this is going to turn into something promising. But he's run down from... 35-yard line, Gracie's tackle after Jamal Bell bobbled the ball on the kick return, but ended up giving that a nice field position. Shane Ellingworth started tonight at quarterback. Third start of the year, zips it out to the right side, and Toa Tower. A pocket in which to make all those reads and ultimately check it down to Tower. Now Tower runs, bounces off the tackle to the outside. Gravity's got good feet. He's tough to bring down. Tempo offense here on third and short. And Tawa, tough enough to break down. To a Giving themselves a five-man five box, and they're running into it. Now they're dropping a safety down to give us extra. This time out of the backfield, Devontae Lee. And Lee, you see that he just doesn't run over people. He's able to make a couple of moves in space and up to midfield. Now the Wolfpack right on the 50-yard line. Lee running. Hit by Seth Benson, among others, about three yards short of the first down. You know, Matt, it was interesting hearing Megan did a good job of coaching the third down because they're in right now. This is his first head coaching job. And on third down, batted down pass on Illingworth's attempt. And one first down picked up. Nevada's drive fizzles out. And Frame has got a chance to pin Iowa. For a catch by Arlen Bruce at the nine yard line. For his career going into this season, he was about a 57% passer. Nine of 16 tonight for Petrus. 104 yards and a touchdown. Difficult spot here for Iowa starting at the nine. Gavin will way go and still made the tackle. Well done. A run for five yards. Ball comes out quickly. And Petrus has thrown it in Brody Brick. Short. And it may be Nevada's defense that wins up front. Looks like it. Nice job. Iowa trying to turn around the field position here. After they go nine yards from their nine out to the 18. Again, second in the nation this year, averaging 49 yards per punt. Torrey Taylor. Sanders made a difficult catch. Lightning has been observed within eight miles of the stadium. We will suspend the game until weather clears the area. A tempo offense here, so a quick snap. The flag comes in on Devontae Lee's run. He ran out of an ankle tackle by Joe Evans and ultimately was brought down by Cooper DeGene, who had a first half interception. There is a penalty on this play. Cooper DeGene had himself an excellent first half. Really played well. Responsible for the game's only turnover. Holding. Holding. Offense. Holding. Number 70. 10 yard penalty. First down. I could tell you're going to drop that safety down. Hole opens up for Lee. And Lee driving back near the initial line of scrimmage before being pushed down by Kayvon Merriweather and Quinn. With tempo. Worth the pass, and it's caught by Dalevon Campbell. And they've got Cox into the game at quarterback as well. The 6'9 quarterback. Cox is a capable runner. We'll see if they go RPO. Now he'll hand it off, and Toa Tawa is stopped short of the first down. Campbell jumped in. He was hit initially, and then Campbell came to the rescue and stopped that thing fast. And there is a window before more weather is expected. So you got to tighten your coverage up on the top side. Fourth and two, and Cox, the quarterback, keeps it to the edge, knocked out of bounds right at the marker. Shane Illingworth is back in the game now for the Wolfpack. And a play fake, and under pressure, flag is down. Sack is made back at the 40-yard line by Lucas Van Ness. Van Ness has been playing well all night long. 
Personal foul. Hands in the face. Offense, number 55. The penalty is declined. Second down. Inside tackle. He plays up and down that line, though. Multiple, multiple positions. Officially a loss of six. Jamal Bell was in motion. And a delay handoff in trouble for Lee. And to the outside. And Van Ness and Wagner. John Wagner and Lucas Van Ness double up. Herbert. A resuming play after a one hour and 50 minute delay with a third and 22 and an incomplete pass on third and 22 for the Iowa 44 looking for Toa Tawa. There's some movement up front before the snap. And play stops. And you might have heard some oohs and ahs because I flashball. Offside defense number 91. Five yard penalty, fourth down. Fourth and 17 is the fourth down upcoming for Nevada. With 524 left in the third quarter, Brandon Talton's career long was a 56-yard game winner. In 2019, home against Purdue, he's made five field goals in his career from 50-plus yards, and this one is no good. He had multiple attempts at it during the warm-up period. Doesn't drop a guy down and create some here to come with a blitz. And Spencer Petras at quarterback. He's thrown a oh, touchdown man. tonight, and he is going for a home run ball to Nico Reganey. And in front of him, it was Jake oh, Damon, but Reganey caught it. What a catch. He stole it out of his hands. That is a phenomenal effort. Watch this. All the way through, there's the pick, there's the steal, there's the catch. At the 15-yard line of Nevada. That is just Awesome by Regani. Think about that. He, he, he hardly even practiced this week, and he's out here for this point in the game. That's phenomenal. His first game, his first catch of the year. Gavin Williams on a running play Gavin on first down. And he's playing here in the, you know, he played yesterday and today. A 46-yard pass play, which is the longest play from scrimmage for Iowa this season to throw Petrus on second down in trouble and sacked by Don Peterson. That's a second consecutive play. Stevens in right guard on the rush by Don Peterson, who will add to his Nevada sack total. Now 26, third most in Wolfpack football history. Petrus on third and a Good long call. way. The screen to Gavin Williams. And Williams picks up the yardage that was this at the end of the game last week. He's made one from 43 yards tonight and made both extra points from 33 to extend the lead, and he does. Drilled that. And that put them in position for what was ultimately a 33-yard Drew Stevens field goal, and then the kickoff by Stevens through the end zone for a touchback in the nation at 16 and a half points per game allowed. A running play as Nevada will start this drive at the 25, and the experience of players like that, the big reason why Iowa's defense has been a well-oiled machine at the beginning of the year, and here's a sack. And they've only permitted two tries by Nevada to even reach Hawkeyes territory. Campbell coming out of blitz. It's picked up. Now Campbell fighting through, and another sack for Iowa. Matt Freem has had a 66-yard punt tonight, averaging about 47 yards per kick in this game. And backpedaling. Difficult catch made by Arlen Bruce. And Bruce is out of bounds. First touchdown of the game was scored by Caleb Johnson, who's at running back right now. That first touchdown was a long time ago. And using a stiff arm to try to fight off Dom Peterson. 48 career tackles for loss. That was a loss of one and a batted down pass here. Isaiah Asissima knocks down the pass. 105 receptions. Another excellent tight end here in Iowa City. The throw of Petrus and a bobble by Laporta and incomplete. A ton of popcorn. When you have had four hours worth of weather delays and the concession stands are presumably closed, that's how you manage. You have that size of a bag of popcorn. This is a great effort. Yeah, quite impressive. A quick throw by Shane Illingworth and wide of the intended target. On second and ten. There were dangerous levels of smoke that forced them to go indoors. So they've dealt with a lot headed into this ball game. That they have. Going into play this weekend, Iowa sixth in the nation in total defense. They blocked two punts last week, and I don't know how that wasn't a third. There are markers down. Arlen Bruce has fielded the punts. Grant has broken a couple of tackles and has made a return out near midfield. 
Running into the kicker. Defense, number 12. Whoever is in control of the volume on the effects mic. An underneath throw caught. And an interception in the first quarter of the game that set up the second touchdown as pressure on Illingworth, and he just throws up a pop fly. And this one's intercepted by Terry Roberts, an interception for the second straight game. And this one is going to be a pick six. It's going to come back. Markers down on the far side of the field near the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they jumped. It's going to be offside on the defense. Offensive player number 69 must leave the game for one play due to his helmet coming off. Averaging only three penalties per game this season for 20 penalty yards in the first two games. Toa Tawa runs the ball. In their coverage. Playing his own. Illingworth rolling. About to run out of real estate. Throws the ball before he runs out of room. Bruce got a touchdown yesterday. <laughs> Lousy punt. Here's the kick by Freem. Caleb Johnson is a running back. And Caleb Johnson's hitting the backfield and driven backwards. Thomas Witte. Quick throw by Petrus. Bentley Sanders with a big hit after Laporta in FBS and interceptions. Led to turnovers, forced to turnover margin as well. And Nico Regani, who's on the highlight reel after a 46-yard sensational catch right after the third weather delay ended, and also a receiver that Spencer Petras has trust in with 91 career catches in his time with the Hawkeyes. Gavin Williams a running play. Just two carries against Iowa State last week. Roll out, and Petras. And Petras throws it on the money. Nico Regani, the ruling is incomplete. After 25% of the first two games on third downs, Iowa is 6 of 14. Long of 62 tonight for Tory Taylor. Nice punt. Which is what you expect from one of the absolute best in the nation at that position. Got, got a little Ray Guy in him. It's one of the things they emphasize, and they get it. They practice it that way, and that's what they do. Running play for Devontae Lee. Second down. Illingworth with a long throw. There's DeGene. Broke up a pass. West Central Iowa, population 994. He's coming on a blitz. It's picked up by Toa Tawa. There's been some rotation up on the defensive line for Iowa post third weather delay. But as you saw going off the field, Jack Campbell still anchoring the linebacker unit. Poor, Poor punt. punt here by Frame. It's going to roll, though. And it will be down to the 45-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Oh, Iowa nice runs 20 nothing and a big hole here. Caleb Johnson has had one long touchdown run tonight, and now he has two. Well, there have been some, some familiar faces that have come back and helped the cause tonight for Iowa. These are the things that cross your brain and cross your mind at 1.25 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, you know, they felt like they had a plan, by the way. Ken Wilson was with the staff at Oregon last year. as a running play here for Nevada, for Toa Tawa. Oh, wow, Tawa still on his feet. And unfortunately, when you have what's occurred tonight, all of those plans that you put in place just go right out the window. Here's the tunnel screen. Billingworth for the 39. And Jamal Bell goes down low to catch it. Man, that's gonna, it's a free play right here. And it's a throw down the sideline. Oh, good and catch. a rope thrown. Caught only six passes in three years playing for the Fighting Illini. Had four for the season coming into play tonight. Oh, great play. Toa Tawa. Incomplete. Ellingworth over Devontae Lee. Getting in tonight for the Hawkeyes on defense. Max Llewellyn's made some plays here after the last rain delay, and the game has finally sustained being able to be played to presumably its conclusion. Seen the turnover tried in a lot this year, as we noted earlier, with 11 turnovers forced this year, but hasn't been one tonight for Nevada. Iowa's brought Jason Patterson into the game to run the ball here. 
grind that down your throat. What is the weight on that popcorn <laughs> bag, I wonder? Oh, nice run as part of that. Patterson running again. They had 316 combined in the first two games. Yeah, this is this is what I was talking about. They're just going to grind it out. Iowa up to 334 yards tonight. Well, Petras will roll and throw it. And it's incomplete. Fair catch made at the 13-yard line. Oh, it's, it's a team game. The defense gave up a touchdown in the second half and said if you know, we had not given up any points, we would have won the game that Iowa State had last week. Cross Patton is in the game, and down he goes. At least one more snap. That's where Ken Wilson was the defensive coordinator, co-defensive coordinator. Kirk Ferentz. One of the best coaches in this Big Ten conference every year. They're well coached every year. They're where they're they're in the middle of something. Fourth all time in Big Ten coaching victories, Kirk Ferentz. And is 40 seconds away from it, adding another one to the total with Wesley Comer running the ball for Nevada. I thought uh, offensively, I thought I thought the offensive line played a little better. They still have work to do. I thought Peters played pretty well. I thought uh, a couple of guys dropped some balls. Balls were where they needed to be. And I think uh, no need to panic yet in Iowa land. Wesley Comer running it on the last play of the game. This game kicked off six hours and 59 minutes ago. The best thing out of three weather delays and the resumption of play is that the game has completed and with all of the starting and stopping it appears everybody got out of it healthy there doesn't appear to be any sort of injury that's related to the unusual circumstances of the game tonight yeah that's the most important thing 